Still trying to make sense of tragedy, police are investigating a motive in the deadliest shooting in modern U.S. history. And now a forensic psychiatrist who studies the minds of killers is weighing in. He talked to our Mike Wakis, who joins us now live. Mike? Uh, yeah, Chris, the search for a motive and the potential of copycats. Just some of the things on the mind today of a leading expert, Dr. Stephen Pitt. This is not a man who snapped. This, this is someone that had a very, very dark, dark motive uh, that drove him to commit these offenses. And someday we'll know that motive. I totally believe that, yes. Valley resident Dr. Stephen Pitt has spent much of his career studying the mind of killers. And today the well-known and highly respected forensic psychiatrist sitting down with us to talk about this past weekend's mass murder in Vegas and the shooter, 64-year-old Stephen Paddock. These types of offenses never, ever, ever happen in a vacuum. The usual typical red flags haven't been showing up. And so now it seems like the media is kind of looking for other angles to try to kind of keep the story moving forward. And with wall-to-wall -wall coverage, Pitt cautions against putting too much stock in the latest headline be it Paddock's apparent gambling addiction or the fact that Paddock's father was a notorious bank robber. To simply say that because this man's father had a criminal past, therefore it goes, that this was inevitable, that's like lunacy in, it, in my opinion. And while Pitt says he has confidence that law officers working the Vegas case will ultimately determine a motive, he also says he is greatly concerned about the potential for copycats. After the first time in decades, a mass shooter set up on an elevated platform and rained death on the people down below. Here's what jumps out at me about this case. Um, the fact that he shot from such a high vantage point was uh, truly like shooting fish in a barrel. Now you're opening up another way to go about killing a bunch of people and you're like appealing to a whole bunch of other disaffected people. That's what stands out. Yeah, of course, it was more than 50 years ago that a young man used the clock tower at the University of Texas as an elevated platform from which to commit mass murder. Dr. Pitt believes this reintroduces that risk, but he says, bottom line, he has great confidence that ultimately they will find a motive for the shooting in Vegas. I'm Mike Watkins for AZ 